Welcome to Throwback Thursday, and welcome to welcome to the continuation of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, where uh, I'll finish the other half of the game, or at least give it my attempt to. I cannot guarantee anything. I might, you know, die on the way, but that's the goal is to play through the rest of the game and finish it. If I get a game over, I think I have some continues. But if I, you know, run out of lives, I'm not gonna go back and start all over again, that kind of thing. Alright. Oh, I don't know why I thought I was gonna get crushed just there. Alright, what am I doing here? I'm just grabbing more bonus shit. That was weird. I went kind of backwards through that uh, alternate route instead of coming back this way, but whatever. All that's important is that I got the bullshit that I wanted. The invincibility, the the, uh, the stars, the invincibility stars of uh, Sonic One more than this one. I like the trail that it left. I thought it was a cooler visual than just you know the little star shield uh, following you around. Oh, and speaking of which, here's another one. And there's an extra life. All right. Despite some you know shitty uh, deaths in earlier on. Alright, let's see if I can get that bridge back, because there is, uh... Ah, oh, I overshot it again. I keep doing it the same way. And that time I waited too long. Come on. There it is. I had to just slow myself down in the right uh, fashion. Take a shield. Cut that one a little close. Am I going down that way? No. Nah. I think I'm thinking of the second, the, like the uh, the latter half of Act Two, where you go through up a couple of vines through these little uh, alternate, uh, not alternate, uh, I don't know these bridges that pop up. I, it's I've got it mapped up in my head, but I don't know how to fucking describe what I'm thinking. Alright, now I think this is the drop. That's... Yeah, you go down there. Oh, no, that's, that's just some spikes, and there is a... Uh, you know, a safe spot. But there is a one of these... Vines you pull to bring up the... The bridge. Alright, there's a nice... Uh, invincibility. There's a spot over here somewhere where you pull the vine and bring down the bridge, and if you if you if you choose not to, if you run past it, you you die because you'll drop into a pit of spikes that's way at the bottom, and there's no escape from it. So I'm I'm being a little cautious here because I'm anticipating it and I am expecting myself to potentially fuck it up. Oh, thanks, Tails. I... You didn't have to. I feel like it's around here somewhere. Nope, not yet. Whoa. Alright. I think this is it. Yeah, I'm 99% sure that that's the one. 99 might be a little over-exaggerating. Well, closer to 90. 85 or so max. No lower than than 80. I'm so close to an extra life. I'm one ring away. 
Don't get hit by anything. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm not gonna get another hundred. Why am I, like, wasting my, uh... time trying to get a hold of a couple more. I always, you know, another thing too is I get the shield when I don't need it. It's not like I get an extra shield. I feel like it kind of should though, you know? Maybe that would have been a good idea in 3 instead of the fire shield. Like you get a, uh, well, no, I like the shields. Different shields. But like, you know, they, I guess like an idea that they could have done in the earlier games instead of having the multiple different kinds of shields is... You know, just the shield, but if you get the first... You get, a, you get a shield, and then if you get another shield on top of it, then you can get a more powerful one. Ah. Uh, I hit him in the wrong spot. You know, how many rings... If I have 121 in my, hand, in my possession right now, if I were to take a hit, how many rings would actually come out and be collectible. Is it 120? Is it accurate to the point um, when it, after it hits a certain amount or does it max out at uh, at some point? Man, I better not fuck this up. I have gotten a pretty good string of continues here. I thought I was going somewhere more important. I mean, I guess I there was an unexplored territory up there, but... <clears throat> we won't be doing that. Ah! Oh, bad landing, bad landing. Alright, at least I got some rings. Nowhere near the neighborhood of extra life, but you know, um, it's just as long as I'm not ringless. It's a very puts you in a very uh, precarious situation to be ringless. I miss time jumps. You know, you you want to uh, what? You know, you're, you anticipate when... Ah, fuck! You anticipate when... Oh, come on! I did not get the length of the jump that I thought I was. It's like I stayed in the same horizontal, uh, or the same vertical spot. Ugh. Oh, you dickhole. You know, when I, <laughs> my brother and I used to call the uh, the shields wombs. Oh, go, you know, because due to the sound of the damn thing. Oh, I got the wom. I don't know, just like a random goofy tidbit. Ugh. Not that that tidbit will be necessary. It's not like uh, there's gonna be aqualung trivia at the bar. flame firing platforms in uh, in this stage. I mean, I know they were a part of it. I just, you know, didn't remember there being so fucking many of them. This is the reason why the gas prices suck with the oil ocean zone.
Oh, what the hell happened there? Ah! Oh. I thought I landed on the damn platform. Alright, I knew it was gonna give away at some point. Some weird springs in this uh, stage that do not appear in any of the others. There's that wind-up one. Uh, then there's that one that you jump into and it fires you into... Into several others. It doesn't look anything like a spring either. The one I just used did, but uh, the other one that was. Uh, it's like, you know, like the. That. I don't know, like fucking tube or whatever. Yeah, see, one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna fucking count all those rings. Yeah, those guys up there, I, I mean, I guess they're not. Uh, those aren't springs and they're not treated as such. Those things fire you out, but the first thing you jump into that usually takes you through them has that uh, spring mechanism and it, yeah, it doesn't look like one of the... Uh, it doesn't even look like it's inviting, like you should be jumping into it. Alright, I'm gonna get whatever the fuck is over there. Huh, rings, okay. I always feel like if I don't, if I, if I try to anticipate that, like right there, see, I would have jumped onto it. That was the mistake I made early on in Act 1 where I, you know, just went for it and of course I'm going to mistime it. I almost think like the game decides when, uh, if, you know, if you ever, uh, if you jump before it has made any kind of movement, then it'll automatically just fire up the time it so that way you will land on it. Yeah, see that thing is... Oh, you know what? It's a little bit of like a trampoline, I guess. Underneath that. Whatever the hell it is. Oh, yeah, don't want these randomly weird slow-moving spike things. Uh, we get the... L checkpoint though. Fuck it. Oh, I'm at this. I'm at Robotnik here. I did not. I, I thought I was still like halfway into the stage. There it is. That he just he fires it off almost kind of like he's angry about it. Like uh. Here, take this, I guess. It's weird how this boss fight operates, like... And it didn't bother with the uh, lighting up the floor gag that time. It's like it doesn't have, it doesn't do all these attacks uh, at the same time, and I'm not at the same time, but we at any given moment. It's like it goes into three different phases. And didn't bother again. Maybe if, if you, anytime you duck, it doesn't bother. All right, well, nice uh, shot right at the end there, tails. I don't like to go into the uh, into the oil all that much. Oh, what the hell! I did not mean to do that at all. Glad I got a ring, cause if I uh, if I had died because of that, I would be, I would be pissed. Oh, shit, I almost did it again. I it was like, I, you know what it was? I panicked. I tried to jump. Thinking that I was about to get hit by the laser. And uh, because I was crouched uh, or I was, you know, rolled up, I just fired straight ahead. That time, the last time, though, I did not cross paths with the gun, which left it, uh, you know, 
left it harmless on my end. Something I gotta like, do to make this. No. Alright, maybe I just can't reach that yet. Oh, come on. These fucking stars, ugh. Bane of my existence in the stage. Hey, why don't you come back? These guys, too. There's a lot of annoying annoyances of this level. I always feel like I hit him in the right spot and don't- Oh, shit! You know, and the, the, the fact that those stars move, too, it's like, it's hard, it, it doesn't make it, oh, shit, alright, I'll go up there. <clears throat> it doesn't make it any easier to, like, line yourself up. Oh, no. Oh, shit, I'm out of rings, I'm out of rings and I'm dead! Fuck. This, this stage, this whole zone. Yeah, it just pisses me off. A lot of claustrophobic parts, a lot of annoying enemies, a lot of, a lot. Yeah, there's three stages of it, too. Like, this is the one they decide to throw in the extra level. See, again, these... You fucking crabs. I don't know which... I think the, I hate the crabs more! <laughs> Fuck! moving too slow. See that, you know, it's like you can move too fast, you can move too slow, all of it. I mean, if you're lucky enough to be able to Oh, is the, the crab is fucking up the placement of... You dick for brains. I didn't even, like, have any control over that. Holy shit, I'm kidding. Oh, you motherfucker! Come on, get the rings, get the rings, and get the fuck out of my way. Uh, I'm back up here again. This is where I died the last time. Oh, it was these goddamn things. That's why. Can I go down? I'm just gonna go down. Ah, see, those, those things are a pain in the ass, too. A lot of shit you have to watch out for. A lot of deception. This way, this way. And these fucking stars on these, uh... On these segments here. It's like you gotta stop yourself. You gotta make sure you line yourself up right. Uh, let's go this way. I feel like the rings are trying to invite me. Yeah, I don't remember every which way but loose uh, by heart. As far as like which way to go, which way not to go. It's all a pain in the ass more or less. Go down. That's what she said. Wow, I came close. Like if that arrow was pointing up on that go around, I would have been fucked. I think I was in this line of. Uh... This is starting to get to be nut cutting time here. Like whenever I'm getting close to 100 rings, I'm like do not get hit. 87, yeah, it's like, uh, it gets to be nervous time. Oh, shit, alright, alright, fuck it. If I can, like, you know, get 
past those uh, arrows, those damn. Oh my god, and really 99? Oh no, it's not what I wanted to do. Oh whatever. I, you know, see, I'm gonna come back and I'm not gonna have any rings, and there goes an extra life. All I would have needed was one more ring. I wanted to go back because I mean I didn't know where that uh, that fall was gonna take me. I didn't like the look of the fact that the the uh, it, you know it, the the screw the giant uh, and look at this I didn't even get enough rings anyway on the first go around. I was so busy pontificating the the shit that just happened that I wasn't even that was <laughs> I was hardly paying any mind to the special stage itself. Whatever. All right and. and uh, well, I already got those rings previously. Yeah, I would have had. I would have the extra life. I would have had the extra life. Ah, uh, that's a little bit of a ball buster. Oh, but stop. Lava. Danger. What does this, you know... What does this factory make? Is this where the, you know... Oh, you cunt! Is this where all of Robotnik's, you know, baddies are made? Because, you know, it's like, why not blow this place up? Really slow down the progress of... Motherfucker. The slow down the progress of motherfuckers, exactly. I'm not sure if I want to go. If like this is where I normally would be coming from, yeah, I guess this is where I want to go. Sometimes you find yourself coming like kind of backwards. I've done it before a couple times, or going against the grain, which is fine. A lot of times, you know, there's no ah. Uh! Come on. Uh, I, like, I don't want to hit those spikes. That's moving forward, so... Oh man, I would have been fucked. Actually, is there anything even worth it over here? Yeah, there is. Well, let's see how worth it this shit is. I'm over here, uh... Oh, you sons of bitches. Fuck you guys. You go back up? Or um, I guess not. <clears throat> Alright. I thought for a second I thought I was going in circles. I do not have Metropolis Zone mapped out of my head. Is this just gonna go around a rotation? It does. Up, you going my way? What's going on here? You going down? Let's see what downtown does. Oh, wait. Back here again. Or are we? Yeah. I, I'm, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I mean, I am. Really, I, I'm talking. I mean, I'm talking to everybody in. You know. Eventually, I guess, but. As it stands right now, what is actually physically happening is I'm, you know, sitting in my house and I'm playing a game and talking into a microphone. <laughs> uh... You know, having a conversation in the future is more kind of like what's happening. 
But at the present time, if, it's almost like something a crazy person would do. I guess we're all a little crazy. You gotta be a little crazy to be doing this shit. You know, it's like, I feel like every time I've played this, I've, t I've done something, I I've taken a different direction in these Metropolis things. Shit. I can't believe I did that. Like, I was watching it the whole time, and I still froze up and directed myself directly into the line of fire like a fucking idiot. Nah. Yeah. So I like to backtrack and see if there's a little bonus item I can get before I move on. You fuck, I hate every single one of you and everything that looks like you. You fucking prick. And every time I play it too, I'm like, ah, maybe Metropolis isn't as bad as I remembered. And every time I reminded myself, or I, I, I remind, I am reminded of how wrong I am about that. I like the design, I like some of the, uh, concepts, but these, it's, it's always just a, an ambush of bullshit, and... It's, in general, not as much fun, um, as m almost every other zone in general. Oh, come on. Get up there, bitch. Cannot change direction quick enough. Right. Finally made it after all these years. Oh! Alright, I'm okay. There it is. Just get me away from all you stupid fucking stars. Oh man, there were so many of them. Fuck! You know, I just want to get by one of you cock suckers and one of those goddamn fucking crabs without getting hit. Just one of them. Alright, I'm brushing it now. I'm always anticipating spikes above the first one. Anytime I, I'm in those, you know, jump from one side to the other platform doohickeys. And even though I had just, you know, fallen, uh, or fallen down and starting the trek back up again, I know there's no spikes up there, but I still, just by gut instinct, do it. Alright, two acts down of this miserable factory. Aside from the levels themselves being annoying, I remember I was stuck on this Robotnik for a while, too. Alright, I killed that fuck. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother killing you, I'm just gonna let you live out the rest of your miserable existence in this place. Jesus. JESUS! Come on, get a ring. Two rings. More you fucks. You know, as much as I, uh... <clears throat> As much of a, of a pain in the ass as the stars are, they are, you know, in retrospect, well, in retrospect, like, as I'm living it out, you know, and when I first, when I counted the first star of the zone while doing this playthrough, you know, I said, oh, the stars, they them especially, but I keep forgetting about those fucking crabs and the, uh, 
and the fucking mantises too. It's like I I've forgotten how much more annoying those were. Fuck you! Cause they add. Yeah, I'm always in a rush when I get to one of them, and fuck! Like that time I was not even in control of myself. Go fuck yourself. And I, you know, just glad that you don't have any defenses right now. Cause it's satisfying to murder you no matter what. Saved you the trouble of having your fucking wife eat your head. Ugh, fuck you guys in the balls. Alright, that was completely pointless. I think I'm kind of going backwards here. No, maybe I'm not. Right, stay put. This is gonna be bullshit. Well, those stars were up there to get in my grill, but I didn't jump to uh, ignite them. Activate him, whatever you want to call it. Fuck! Like, I was prepared for you too, asshole. Up yours! Up yours! Nah, I was in a, it was in a decent spot. I could've just stayed put. But, you know, the thing about the stars that makes them not quite as annoying is you know it's it's mostly about panicking and putting yourself in the wrong spot than it is about uh you know them you know doing what the crabs do and you know sneaking up on i mean they don't sneak up on you they just sit in there they sit in one spot but kind of the same idea um <clears throat> And not only that, but you don't always have to interact with them either. They like sometimes, you know, they don't activate. <clears throat> so yeah, for the, so long, I had a hard time with this guy, and it was mostly because I didn't... You know, I chose fight instead of flight during this part here, where he's essentially kind of sort of invisible. And then you wait for it to get... Oh, fuck! You know, I waited too long right there. But, uh, you know, wait till it's... The, the rotation of these orbs are horizontal, and then you can, you know, get a shot in edgewise. Ah, oh, shit. You know, I'm, whatever. Might as well take a shot while, uh... I'm, you know, in the recovery time. Give it some space. Alright, now get it out of the way. It's kind of cool to see how many uh, hits he has left. Because, you know, each of the orbs are gonna... This is where having a second player comes in handy. Because, you know, Tails will be able to get some shots in, too. Go ahead, go up there. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna reach. I'm talking to the computer like as if it's listening to me. But I do like to play this game, to, uh, like, play the one-player mode with a second player, and, you know, you, it's like a co-op, uh, cam campaign of sorts. It's so tempting, too, when there's less orbs to, like, try to get a shot in, and you can, but... You know, that's when you... Well, at least that's when I fuck up. There's your example right there. Doesn't help when you only have the one ring, too. Oh, fuck. Come on, get the ring, get the ring. Don't worry about anything else. It's a bit of a grueling matchup, that one is. Just like the fucking zone. Alright, now we hit the home stretch of, uh,. <clears throat> Where the zones blend into each other. Start off with a sky chase. This level's a lot more relaxing, a lot less uh, stressful than Metropolis, but it is, you know, you still can low key get yourself caught. Mostly from carelessness, you know, like just. Like, 
I'm not even gonna bother fighting you guys. For one thing, these turtles are so adorable. I mean, I just killed them, but, uh... You know, I don't feel the, uh, desire to murder them as much as I do with so many other enemies, and especially coming out of the Metropolis Zone, where I'm relieved to be out of that shit. See, they mostly just kind of chill. Yeah, they fire off a little shot there, but... They don't really care all that much. They're, they're just as chill as them. I think they might be stoned. Oh shit! All right, I'm out of rings. See, this is one. You know, right there, one, one shot, and now you know because there is uh, the rings just fall straight into the abyss. You know, it's not. It's it's a lot harder to get your rings back. So. <clears throat> Definitely one of the detriments or uh, of the stage is, is that. All right, we can get some more rings here. And you got to be careful not to hit an enemy that's right in line with the, uh, the wing of the plane. All right, I, mean, I know I said I wasn't going to kill you guys, but... You know, you kind of made it a lot harder to not kill one of you by putting uh, so many of you in one spot like that. Alright, off to Wing Fortress. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, if always, if that thing always fires you right over him. Somewhere over here, yep, the wind takes me off into... Crazy zone. Right, here. Oh shit, that's not where I wanted to pop back out. This was. Like you know, like I was saying, the uh, you know these these last few zones blend into each other. I I like that element of it. I also like the, how unique the zones are themselves too. Uh, you don't see this sort of shit in the first game. You know, like the. There are these one-act zones that are standalone, and I mean, they did—they did have a couple of uh, levels that blended in with each other. Like uh, mainly, it was only the Scrap Brain, uh, where you fall through at the end of Act Two. But then they went and took it to another level in Sonic Three by having it a whole—the the whole goddamn kit and caboodle. I was gonna say, like, I wanted to time it so that, because these things don't stay out too long. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! <laughs> last one. Of course it's the last one. I didn't even get this one the last time. I, I skipped it completely, is what I did. No good reason, really. I just omitted that area. I'll give myself a little shield, which I will lose immediately, and I knew it too. I was like, "Oh fuck, I'm di I'm kind of diving headfirst into it." But the shields are like. I don't know, yeah, if, if I get, not, I don't know if lazy is the word, or just comfortable with the fact that I got more wearing the damn thing. Shit, I'm jumping too 
slowly. All right, I got it that time. Over that. <clears throat> that did absolutely nothing. All right, get on. What the? All right. Any more rings? Nope. I'm gonna be so close to an extra life. <laughs> as close as you can get. Such a weird robotic boss because of ah fuck there were all three of them. Oh shit. Come on, get some rings, just get some rings. Ah, I missed it again. God damn it. Oh, come on, get the ring. Get, get uh, one ring. Fuck. One, come on, get the ring. Fuck, I'm fucked. I knew it. I knew I wasn't gonna make that one. Son of a shit. bother with it on the first try. Ah! I knew it! Oh, come on! Get the ring! Get the fuck out of the way. Fuck! Come on! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I missed that oh, completely. Just one at a time. So all we gotta, you know, don't get greedy and go for the extra hits. Ah! Oh no! All right. Now it. Ugh! Come on! Come on! I don't anticipate. I get the fuck. Ah no! They sent me in opposite directions. Son of a bitch! underneath these damn things. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh, boy. Come on. No, 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 no. There it was. All right. I really thought I... I didn't know I was that close. thought I had a few more hits to, to take them. Now the high-speed chase. How the hell is this plane able to keep up? Maybe the Death Egg is just like... Well, you know, it's got a... It probably is a very gradual process for liftoff. And off we go into... And I don't have a uh, spacesuit or anything, you know, this is, uh, I'm way out of the atmosphere now at this point. Alright, the, the uh, Death Egg, which is <clears throat> just two boss battles, but two boss battles without the aid of any rings whatsoever. And, yeah, uh, that was a bad move. I was like, I jumped in a, at a terrible angle. And I know you can do a little uh, attack there too. Oh shit, I did not think he was going straight ahead that time. 
You're doing the jump this time, right? Ah! Why did I jump? It was a complete instinct. It was complete instinct. There we go. That's what you gotta do. Get a couple hits in. Oh my god, I started off so strong too. How is he just as fast as Sonic? Because he's scared shitless, that's why. Uh, you know, I kind of wanted to take another shot. That's how I always get fucked, is when I get greedy and go for extra attacks. Almost did it right there, too. I knew he was going back up. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's sending the kids. Oh, you bastard. I was fucked. I was in a bad spot. I don't know why I thought I was closer to the right. I don't know. I thought I was closer to the left. Try this again. Just gotta be more aware of where I am on the in the room. Oh, I knew it too. As soon as I jumped, I was like, I did not like the angle I took there. That was not a good idea. I hate having to fight this prick every single time, too. Just because, like, you know, just one beat off, and I'm fucked. Oh, like right there! I, I, I bounced up too high. It's a good thing I got some continues, though. I'm gonna be able to use them, right? All right yeah. For a second, I was like, <clears throat> "Are you really gonna take him away from me on the last stage?" low that time. I walked right into him. Let's fight another day. You know, don't go for the second shot if you don't feel comfortable with it. Alright. Now, I rushed it a little too much. I wanted to get a shot in every, every single time he stepped forward. Whoa. 
want to do it when he's at least you might have a chance of oh come on Ugh. jumped a bit too early came back down on the goddamn arm I know you can hit him in this little double uh, back and forth here, but uh, I'm only getting one shot in each over here now. All right, he's gonna do another regular straight ahead right here. And I think he does the. All right, uh, who cares what he does next? I wanted to jump again. I knew it, but I was like, nope, nope, don't do it. Don't do it. Alright, so here's the part that I gotta jump to the correct spot. I'm oh my god. Oh my god. I jumped early, but I jumped early enough where I was able to dodge it. Alright, bring him over to the right so I can get the fuck over here. Alright, you gonna walk regularly now? Yep. Yeah. That's too close. Gotta jump with some distance so I can bounce back a little bit more. He's gonna do the arm thing next, so. Going back up? Yeah. Thought maybe he would, uh. Maybe there'd be a chance he'd start walking again. There we go. That's it. It's not the supersonic ending, but it is still an awesome ending. The regular ending to this game. I always feel bad for these guys watching and thinking that Sonic is dead. It's fucking disheartening as hell. Tails is like... I always wondered here, like, is he saying, I'm going up there to go after him? I think he's still alive. Or is he like, well, I guess it's just me now. Let's, let's ride off. Or is he, you know, having, you know, the, the good heart of Tails is saying, no, I believe that he's still alive. See, now, I think this would have been more effective right here if you, instead of starting on Sonic on this shot, it started off on Tails. Because then once the triumphant part of the song hits... Tails pops out. We already know Tails is fine. If we were on Tails and then Sonic came into the frame, that would have been way more effective. But <laughs> even still, great song, great ending. And Tails is like, what the fuck are you doing jumping off the plane, you crazy bastard? You almost died. <clears throat> Before, and I'm going to kill yourself here? Anyway, that's Sonic the Hedgehog 2, an absolute classic. Of course, it's an absolute classic. Um, that's it for this throwback. If you have any requests for future throwbacks, of course, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.